up guys this is Brett and I'm back and I wanted to show you the next phase of setting up all your your information to track your website um, this is going to be for Google Webmaster Tools so essentially you just type in you just type in Google Webmaster Tools right up here and it will I'll just do it I'll probably just give you the links underneath the video in my blog post so that you won't have to hassle with this. Oh, okay, well, let me back up because this is already picking up my Google login. Okay, essentially, you already set up account from the previous video and setting up Google Analytics. So what happens when you when you go to Google Webmaster Tools? You're going to go right into this page. If not, all you have to do is just sign in with your account that you, your Gmail account or whatever, and I just use the requires no shoes. Okay, if you want, um, you know, I always recommend if there's videos or stuff, Google is very, there's a lot of stuff happening in Google. And I, the main thing I want you to get out of this is that you just focus on getting your website set up. Um, if you want to get techie or dive into like all the, you know, all the details of analytics, you know, I'm going to provide some, some other videos to, to hit on some of those subjects. But right now, just focus on getting this set up because this is really, this webmaster tools, if, let's say there's malware or there's a virus or something that, that, that gets into your, um, gets into your website, Google Webmaster Tools will actually send you an email and tell you that, hey, something's going on, we couldn't crawl your site, you know, there's, you know, if your site goes down, there's a whole host of things that can happen, but Google Webmaster Tools is the platform that's kind of like your little warning robot that says, hey, you know, your your page is, something's up with your page, um, like, instantly it'll send you a, an email, so this is what Webmaster Tools is, but you know go through here watch the watch the videos or come back after you get it set up because it's kinda like a huge rabbit hole I mean you know you can get in here and then you can you know you can start going crazy it's just like you know me it's if if I see something I would be like oh you know it's like the squirrel and the nut you know oh my gosh you know I gotta go get that one you know and then you see a bigger one over there you know it's just you know that's just kinda the way this is so just kinda be focused get this set up and then go back and uh, you know get lost in all the information so to speak but we're gonna do this real easy um, watch this video it's a quick video um, it'll show you what this does Google is awesome about um, setting all this up but if you scroll down you'll see add a site and remember we wanted to add our site so you just come up here and you copy and paste this when you're logged into your back office sometimes it'll pick up your actually affiliate link I've act, I've forwarded mine to an IP address, so it picks it up. Uh, that was that was uh, my mistake. But you just come up to your address bar. You know you can. All I'm doing is copying and pasting, and I use keyboard shortcuts. So if you don't know about keyboard shortcuts, that's analytics. Sorry about that. Um, so you just copy from up here from your website. Let me back up. So we copy. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and then you just paste okay if you want to use your mouse that's how you do it if you want to use keyboard shortcuts it's control C control V control C is copy control V is paste for PC Apple C Apple V for Mac and then we just add site okay so verify ownership of this account learn more okay now here's the deal with this okay you have your your analytics set up so once you go through here if you hit alternative methods you can use your Google Analytics and then it might not pick it up because we just did it but if you hit verify say this okay now there's a there's several different ways you can do this now within the blog you can't do an HTML tag and you can't use the domain provider okay and then don't even worry about this this is what you want to use now if you come back over here and you 
see let's just go into property settings there's a lot going on in here and this is this is what I wanted to tell you but like I said it's going to take 24 hours or so to set this up but when you do and you use your Google Analytics account that will happen once you have everything running and this picks up, since you put your Google Analytics account over here, it will pick up this code and verify based on your um, Google Analytics deal. Okay, so it's it's it just automatically does it. Once you hit verify, it's going to go out there and it's going to look for your analytics code that you set up. So just give it a little bit. But now that you have it set up, and you come back here and you hit verify. It's real easy to come back and do that so I'm going to that's really it on webmaster tools now if you go back in here and you have your you have your account set up it'll keep giving you this this you haven't verified this site so what you do then is you just come in here and you click verify this site okay and it'll bring you back to this step here and you go in alternative methods and then you want to recommend it use the Google Analytics okay it's gonna automatically do that right away I'm not gonna get into what this tools will do for you until after it's set up because it's gonna take a little bit of time to pick it up but it's gonna actually show you your your page rank for all your pages on your website all your blog posts and I'll actually open up let me just uh, let me just show you something log out of here but you're done with the webmaster tools for right now you just have to come back to that and get it uh get it set up so i am gonna log oh, oh, not that one here's what my webmaster tools account looks like okay these are all my blogs this is already set up so what this will show you oh, let me get out of that one let's see here I'll go to this one here you see how it says no new message or recent critical issues you see down here this says Googlebot can't access your site view details. This site right here, I haven't moved over or anything, and it's actually it, it's getting a, a, a code that's the site's down. This will see. This is what this this will tell you. Okay, this is why this is such a cool thing to have. But I'll show you the other part. Let me just pull this one up. See how it says site errors, and it'll give you check marks, and it'll tell you, you know, all the stuff going on. Now I just moved this one over here not too long ago, but if you wanted to go in here and see search queries, this is the kind of information that you get when you have this set up. So it'll tell you average position within Google on a page for keywords, and it'll give you all these keywords, and I'll get into this in a little bit, but this is important for what you're going to be doing driving traffic and know what is actually hitting your site so this you know and I'll get into this later but this is the kind of stuff that uh, that webmaster tools will do for you and I am going to sign out and I'm gonna make another video on adding a XML sitemap to your blog it's kinda of like a blueprint of your website to give to Google to say hey here's an easier way to find everything you need so that your rank gets your page gets quicker so I'm gonna jump off of here and I'll make this XML sitemaps and show you how to add those as well um, I will be right back so have fun see you in a bit bye